So if you like the video, give me a like. What is up guys, Shear here and welcome to another episode of Shear's House and today I am going to talk about how to put music on your live stream. A lot of streamers or a lot of viewers sometimes would love to ask what music you're playing at the background and because you're busy playing a game you may have no time to remember or reply to your fan base your questions about what song it is, what genre, and who's the artist. One of the ways to do that is to put the title of the song and the, the name of the artist on your screen while it plays. Now, how do you do that? This is what we're going to talk about. This is another precautionary measure for you to avoid that copyright law and there will still be times your recorded or archived stream will be taken down or muted just because of that song but you know it's still a good precautionary measure to put the title of the song on your screen somewhere down below or somewhere on the right side or somewhere up there just so we could stay clear of the copyright law and i'm gonna show you right now so first we go to um our sources yeah gonna push that up and we are going to add a media so we're gonna do this on streamlabs obs it's it's almost the same thing uh with the obs the original obs but I just like to use Streamlabs and I haven't seen much tutorials on Streamlabs on putting your music or putting displaying the music you're playing on the screen. Here we go. Let's go to sources and click on add new source to your scene. So in add sources, we're going to go to window capture. So window capture captures the, basically the vi the window of the app that's open it says here compatible with most modern browsers and programs so it should be I'm gonna take off the cam so we're going to add that source click on add source and you could title this to whichever app you're using if it's Winamp or Spotify or whatever I'm, I'm using Spotify so I'm gonna type Spotify and add the source. So once you've added your source, I want you to go to your source and double click that and go to capture cursor and uncheck that. Now open your Spotify or your WinApp or whichever media source you're using and play that for a while. Once you've done that, I want you to click on multi-adapter compatibility and go to window tab and wait for um, Spotify to come out. So once it comes out, you select the spotify.exe with the title of the song. It should preview the whole window. However, this is not the whole thing that I want to see. What I'd like to see is the title of the song and the artist. So to do that, we're going to go to... Let me minimize this for you for a sec. We are going to go to Spotify. Right click on that. Go to filters, add a filter, and look for crop pad. Okay, there we go. So crop pad will crop out the things or the parts that you don't need. In this case, I don't need the top part or the right part. All I need is the bottom left corner of the window. On the top part, I'm going to write 900 maybe? No. 800 
There we go. Maybe 830. Or 825. No, make it 820. Okay, that's good enough. 820 is the size, the resolution, which is above the title. So we cut off the part that's above that. And we're gonna do the same for the right side. So it could be 1300. Yeah, that works. 1300 is good. So click done. And now you have only the title and the artist right on your screen. Now what you could do is right click on that and copy and go to your other scenes and add that to your other scenes. Right click on sources and paste. So it comes out there. Reposition wherever you'd like to put it. So I'd like to put mine over there. And do the same for the others if you want. So go to paste again and add that here there we go so just to show you that it works while I'm streaming or recording we could press the play button and just to show you that it changes to the next song do this do that again. See, that's in the middle. Sad song. Used to love. And Martin Garrix. Okay, so there you have it. This is just one of the many ways you could add songs to your live stream. And if you found the video helpful, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys soon on the next video.